Traders, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my live trading session. We're looking at S&P 500 and many futures. The time frame is 2000 tick chart. The price session right now is indicating to me a trend range structure. Why? Well, because the supportive indicator, the blue line, the 21 bar exponential moving average is for the most part flat. You have a lot of price swings up and down, up and down. There's a slight bullish bias, but this is still quite a range like structure. So I'm drawing my channels tight. I'm following the trend line rule as price session says, and the market is going to open in four minutes. So I'm going to be waiting for the open for market to start. The stock market open. We had a two legged like pullback, second inch long at the EMA while the EMA was holding, but you can't land in there. Everything is too congested. We broke higher. The market keeps trending quite bullish. I have to respect the shortened downtrend because there are corrections even inside of the uptrend. So I'm drawing the shortened downtrend. This was quite a spiky move up. So I'm leaning more towards expecting stronger correction. I'm not buying just yet. I would like to see break new extreme of the downtrend and then to start thinking about buying again because I can drill a bit wider channel and right now the channel would have overshoot. But the bias is still more bullish and I can't really go short just yet because we traded up. Okay, resuming the video as we have a break new low for the downtrend, which is indicating to me that the downtrend played out. And notice what is price action forming. It's forming triple test. One bottom, double bottom, triple test after new low and the second leg for the downtrend would be a great buying opportunity in this uptrend. However, the signal bar is this horrible bearish bar and the bull bar right after is bad as well. So even though this is a triple test, we can't really enter here because it just formed bad. I'm going to make my channel a little bit wider, but you can see in bullish uptrend, you need to redraw the downtrend, respect the correction. After there's a break new low, the correction played out. The bearish momentum is over and the buyers will start buying again where at the key entry point you are around the EMA and the triple test is coming into play. All right, let's resume the video as I attempted to take the second inch long, but it went up so quickly. I didn't even manage to get my recording done. I didn't get filled because the bar never truly made new low to the tick, only micro double bottom. So I use limit order and prices never came back, but this is a new high. First inch long, pull back, second inch long, you're at the range lows you're with the direction of the main trend so i felt it was worth taking a shot on the second inch long so close to the support while you trade it up into the string range all right here so i'm resuming the video as i'm going to take the second inch long to like a pullback at the exponential moving average and we didn't get filled here so i reacted a little bit too slowly so i need to cancel the order because the scalp was made I'm resuming the video as prices are pulling back above the EMA. I'm looking now for high low confirmation setup or the felt second entry short. The uptrend is extremely strong. We have a lot of small bars, slowly but surely working higher. Resuming the video as I entered a second entry long, I'm going to move my target profit to eight ticks. I'm going to move my runner at these highs. I'm looking to scalp six contracts as a main portion. I'm leaving one contract as a runner. The setup is a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, and also visual first leg, break, second leg. So we have micro second entry long, and we have a larger visual second entry long. And also, as you can see, we are bouncing off the double bottom. And this is such a very strong uptrend that you pretty much have to force yourself to buy any semi-decent setup. So this is a decent signal bar. The risk is not that big. You can see we're very close to being one to one. And since I have local second entry long and visual second entry long at the double bottom, and downtrend created a break, attempt for a new extreme, I have to go long because the uptrend is extremely strong. We have a lot of small bars that are just slowly but surely working higher. It doesn't look like that, but this is the strongest version of the uptrend. Okay, prices are heading towards our target profit, but we need a couple more ticks. Okay, we are bouncing on my exit order, but we need to tick through. Target fill. And we tick through. So I'm gonna tighten my stop loss to break even because our main portion was met and right now i'm gonna leave my runner somewhere at these highs let's see if we can get the runner because this is going to be just a bonus in case market just keep trending higher strongly this is a very strong trend but hopefully it makes sense a larger tool like a pullback and a micro first entry long second entry long and a double bottom is just a cherry on the top helping you to decipher what's going on here that there are a lot of buyers after break attempt for a new extreme and let's see if we can get some runner all right traders our runner just got stopped as i'm looking back it was also new low First entry short, pullback, second entry short, failure. 
variation. But right now we're going sideways. That doesn't matter because we still expect for this strong bullish uptrend to continue. We're just going to let the bearish correction play out with the break new low. If we break the channel, then we still will look for push above EMA, fell second entry short and expect new extreme. This is a very strong uptrend and it is not uncommon for strong trends to have stronger corrections. This is why it is important for me to not buying too aggressively after break. I really want to see push above EMA and a fell second entry short because this may seem as a significant correction, but if you're going to compare it to the overall size of the uptrend, this is extremely insignificant. So it is not uncommon to have many more pushes lower. So I'm just going to weigh this out and see push above EMA and possible felt entry short because this uptrend going to trend on rules still needs to get new extreme. We have a new low, first entry short, pullback and a second entry short failure is forming. But notice my signal bar was this bearish bar. This bullish inside bar is quite tempting. A lot of sellers must be trapped, but I really respect this bar first. You know, this is very tempting. It may work, but I would like to see a cleaner setup because you never know how stronger the downtrend is going to be when this is such a big uptrend. So the correction may be a little bit longer, but we are expecting felt second entry short above EMA because the market is bottoming out. We have a break new extreme and the uptrend is new high according to trend line rules. All right, cheers. I'm resuming the video as I'm going to take a quite aggressive higher low. This is calculated trade because we may have good potential to catch a decent runner stacked and congested. So I'm going to make my stop loss tighter. I'm going to go for a tick target profit. This is high low confirmation of the felt second entry short. It's right off the EMA off the potential trend line. Now, normally you want to avoid a congestion like this, but because we can have a move to new extreme, I'm definitely willing to risk it. As you can see, I may have been trapped here too early, but at this point I really want to see a new high so i'm betting on the fact that we may create the new push to new extreme normally you want to avoid this so definitely bear in mind that i'm just taking a risk here this is way too aggressive and we got stopped here but i was just trying to take a chance and you can see we got stopped but it's okay i'm gonna be looking for the next setup soon all right cheers i'm resuming the video as i re-entered a failed breakout out of this congestion because my initial analysis still remains the same and notice we had a congestion we broke lower came back, we pushed back into this small trend range and above the EMA, it is a felt breakout. And my initial thesis still remains the same. We still need to get pushed to new extreme. And since we are above the EMA, all the sellers are gonna get trapped target filled. and we got filled and I went for 10 tick target profit. So I'm gonna instantly move it to break even and I'm gonna hope we're gonna get a good run because this is what I was expecting here. As you can see, you have to respect the congestion. But I only took it because I was just taking a calculated risk. This is what you have to do as a trader. The trend is strong. The trend line rule says you're going to get new extreme. But if it's too congested, you want to skip. But I was taking a risk here. I knew that it was way too aggressive. So definitely you don't want to be taking this unless you know what you're doing. And here you can see what happened. Congestion broke lower. They trapped all the sellers and they trapped people like me who were trying to go long way too early. So all the early bulls got stopped. All the premature sellers taking the trades against the trend got stopped as well. And we were able to get this quick little scalp. And now I expect for prices to retest the new high of this uptrend. So you can see what the price action is doing here. The downtrend played out with the break new low. And you can see how suddenly it's going way too sideways. The bearish momentum is depleting. So you can see a lot of times there's going to be a triple test forming here. We don't really have perfect triple test here. But now you're pushing with EMA trapping all the sellers and we expect new high according to trend line rule because this is a very strong uptrend so you're not even thinking about selling you're just letting the bearish trend play out and once you push above ema you're looking to go long now normally you can see one two three four five six bar stacked pure congestion you don't want to take it way too aggressive but sometimes you can catch a massive runner this time they got me a little bit early here but we were able to make it back All right, traders, resume the video as we had a new high, first entry long, second entry long, right off the trend line, right off the EMA. The setup didn't trigger right above this bullish bar. So you would have to trigger above this inside bar, but the inside bar is such a strong bullish tail, still closing above EMA and above the trend line. Since this is such a strong uptrend, you definitely can consider taking this because there's a new high, first entry long, second entry long, and sort of felt second entry short at the same time, two key entry points, and the main channel needs to get new extreme, hopefully. The runner will continue working higher. All right, traders, so I'm tightening our runner. And you can see this is why I was so aggressive trying to pick a bottom here, even though it was way too aggressive and way too congested. Because according to simple trend line rule, we need to get new extreme, which right now we reached. And we managed to get ourselves some nice, decent runner. 
the main uptrend had the break at a new extreme. We had a consolidation. There was even second entry long that you would have survived because you can see you keep your stop loss one tick below the single bar and you would have survived by one tick. But since this main channel reached a new extreme, I recommend being a little bit patient because the correction may be a little bit stronger. And after that, there weren't that many setups because we entered somewhat of a trading range. We bottomed out. We have major high low compared to this one. So the trend that is strong is slowly transforming into a weaker uptrend. And remember, when the trend is so strong, you don't want to be even looking for a reversal pattern because chances are higher that the market is just going to continue working higher, continue working higher even after new extreme. So we had a decent felt second entry short here after the bull bottom and strong push above EMA. But notice how far away it is closing. So a little bit more aggressive. And after that, we didn't really get any good setups by the time it's way too late. So we only had the chance to take setups early on. Now I marked the second entry long as we talked about, even though it is inside bar, because this is such a strong uptrend day and you're at two key entry points, you pretty much can take a risk here. And this was interesting setup because of a new high, first entry long, second entry long, which you cannot take because of a downtrend in play. But then you have a nice high low confirmation setup of the second entry long and you trapped all the sellers selling the felt second entry long. So if you have better bar here, this is a great bearish trap, capitalizing on traders who are selling way too early while the uptrend is to get new extreme. And as you can see, at the beginning, this was fairly strong uptrend, a lot of small bars, slowly but surely working higher. We have a two-legged pullback here at the bottom of the trend range. We have a two-legged pullback here at the EMA textbook price session setup, two broad legs down, downtrend played with the break new extreme. And when you see first leg, long sideways stretch and the second leg, it makes it really broad and you want to trust the second inch long at the EMA. I even marked this a little bit more aggressive because the downtrend is in play. When you're watching this at the time, your trend has overshoot. So you got to be a little bit more careful. But when the uptrend is this strong, you know, you can take a chance even on a setup like this because this is a very strong rejection of the EMA. So hopefully you had a decent trend day, very strong uptrend day. So you have to force yourself to be taking a little bit more sketchy setups, a little bit more aggressive setups because that's just the way how it works on a strong uptrend day. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.